What's up guys? Today I present to you 14 scenes of Ratchet & Clank, 6 GB of VRAM vs 8. At the end of the video we'll go over the findings, how to access the BIOS to switch up our VRAM, and my experiences with both settings. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video as much as I did creating it. Expect me to get to the bazaar from here. Did Phantom think this bolt crank will help me get back to the bazaar? Where are you taking me? I was going to take you to my hideout. But first, I gotta rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. Now, if we could get away from this acid... Come on, Maynard! Let's find the morts! Please, be careful! What did I say about backseat driving? If I knew how to build a Dimensionator, where would I be? Kadaro Station houses the Emperor's most secret research, including the only Rubion Forge strong enough to build the Dimensionator. So, it's our only shot. Good to know. If the room is prone to flooding, they would likely keep the pump controls somewhere high. Hey, Racho. You did not ask for it, but my name is Junkbot, in case you are interested. I know I am. Pleasure to meet you, Junkbot. This is Kit. Hello. Hey, kids. So why do you two need that on? We're, uh, trying to get into another dimension to use their Rubion Forge. Oh, we have one here. Too bad it has not worked in forever. It could make the funnest squares. Authorized drill usage until the blockage in that tube is cleared. We should go for karaoke after this. Do you like karaoke, best friend? I will dislike it if you dislike it. I cannot help thinking... What? We still do not know what happened to your dimensions, Blizzar. We will soon. Then we can stop it from happening in this dimension. Let's get some phase courts repaired. I hope the Fixer is as good as the Morts say he is. Yes. I hope so, too.
And there you have it, our 14 scenes. What can we conclude from this? For the most part, the average FPS were nearly identical in most of these scenes. The only one that really stood out was scene 7, where the GPU clock was running a bit higher for the 8 gigs of VRAM. As for the temps, the 8 gigs of VRAM performed about 3 degrees better in almost all the scenes. This makes sense because 2 gigs more of RAM is being used when setting the VRAM to 6 gigabytes. Overall, though, from my experience, I've actually had better load times on 6 gigs and less crashes compared to 8, so even though it's running hotter on 6 gigs, I would still recommend that for less crashes over the 8. With that being said, here are the settings that I've used for this video. And now I'm going to show you how to edit your VRAM. To enter your BIOS, let's first open Command Prompt in Admin Mode and type in the following command. You can also enter the BIOS from an off state by holding down the Volume Down button as you're booting it up. However, I recommend you learn this universal command that works with any brand of motherboards. Once you're in the BIOS, select Advanced Mode, then Advanced and change the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. Click Save and Exit, then click Save Changes and Exit when you're ready to go. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful and consider liking the video if it helped and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.